like this. You've got your little bag in your chamber, your saw you set, and you are using a pump. Then if you ever need to add any medicine, this is how you do it. Okay, you draw up your medicine in a syringe, whatever volume it's going to be, that's fine. And just temporarily fill out a medicine label. Don't worry about filling out every single line because it's only going to be on there for like 30 minutes while the medicine goes in. Now, on the tip of this <coughs> syringe, make sure that you put a blunt tip needle. And then come to your saw you set and cleanse the port, the injection port. It's got a blue ring. And then you're going to squirt your <coughs> medicine in, just like that. And I'll mix it up a little bit in the saw you said. Now, <coughs> we want this to be at the primary rate. So if the IV is going at 40 cc's an hour, I want 40 in here <coughs> if I want it to go in in an hour. If I want it to go in 30 minutes, I could put it up to 80 for 30 minutes. But I want to maintain the primary rate if possible. And I said it was 40 cc's an hour. So I'm going to pour some fluid in here up to 40. Now to pour fluid, you simply open your clamp between the chamber and your bag. And then close it back. Make sure that you close your clamp well so that no fluid runs in. Now, I said you would fill out a medicine label. Stick it on there just temporarily. Like if you want, you can just stick one corner to it so that the whole thing doesn't stick real bad. And you let it run for an hour. When the hour is up, wait till it alarms that it's empty and then because you want to make sure they get all the medicine realize that the tubing still has medicine in it because the tubing holds about 20 mils so but what you do is when this gets empty you go ahead and drop some more fluid you take off your medicine label and now it's just primary fluids in there. Um, but realize that it's actually not all into the patient yet. So remember that if a patient is going home after their IV medicine, you have to make sure you clear all the medicine out of the tubing. Now, there are a couple of other things about IVs that I wanted to point out. Um, arm boards can be used if necessary. Here's a newborn arm board. This is an IV house. It's a flexible plastic transparent 
something that you actually put over the IV side and tape down so that you can see the IV, but it protects it. You can use stockinette. This is kind of a big stockinette, but you get the idea. And you slide that over the IV site. If you use stockinette, make sure that when you're assessing your IV that you pull it down so you can actually see what it looks like. And um, if you're giving a push or if you're flushing, maybe it was an intermittent piggyback and they've got a saline lock, then you're going to use your normal saline flush as you do with an adult, just smaller amounts. Um, they recommend two and a half times the volume of the tubing and the tubing that they have over there at the hospital now I think holds about four or five tenths of a cc of a milliliter so you're going to put a, at least a milliliter and a half in and most people just go two milliliters before and after and that's enough to flush it with.